Hello friends, this is MD Kayyum, civil engineer. A warm welcome back to the new video. A hearty welcome to our academy JLT. Today I am going to discuss about what is the main difference between FE 500D and FE 500 steel. But before going to discuss in detail, I request all the viewers kindly like, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's move on to discuss about the first what is meant by the FAD. Let us see the introduction part. So in TMT rubber, FE denotes the iron. FE indicates here iron and D stands for elasticity. In simple term, how much flexible. So elasticity means it is nothing but how much it is having a flexibility. So TMT rubber is having a FE 500 or FE 500 D grade of TMT parts contain lower percentage of sulfur and phosphorus that makes these bars are highly acceptable for all types of construction purposes. So few things are available in the steel like main that is sulfur. Higher percentage of sulfur makes the steel prone to fire. Using lesser amount of sulfur makes it fire resistance. And another property is phosphorus. Using higher amount of phosphorus makes the TMT bar brittle which means if the TMT river stored when temperature is low the rivers will become fatty and it will lead to external crack on it. So it is having the property of brittility. Now let us move towards the another description. So in the 500 that is FE 500 and FE 500 D as I said that FE denotes the iron and 500 indicates the minimum yield stress in terms of Newton per mm square. So it's a very clear thing we should understand what does FE indicates here. FE is nothing but iron and 500 indicates here minimum yield stress in Newton per mm square. And the letter D as I said just now denotes that such bars have higher values of ductility that is higher UTS and yield strength and percentage of a so UTS indicates here ultimate tensile strength, YS indicates here yield strength and percentage elongation will be having more. So using lower amount of sulfur and phosphorus makes the TMT rubber highly ductile, fire resistance and increase the valuability. Now let us see about the types of steel bars available in the market. So basically TMT bars are typically graded as FE 415 or FE 415D. FE 500 or FE 500D, FE 550 or FE 550D, FE 600 or FE. So where the number indicates the level of stress that must be applied to deform it. For example, FE 500 starts to deform when a pressure of 500 Newton per mm square is applied on it. So this is the example we have taken here. You can view this is a FE 500 example. This indicates here pressure of 500 Newton per mm square is applied on it. So you can view the image is available what is FY and what is FO in steel. So grade of steel I have listed on the LHS and on the RHS you can view the value of FY. FE 415 gives 415 Newton per mm square. FE 415 D also gives the same strength 415 Newton per mm square. FE 500 500 Newton per mm square. FE 500 D 500 Newton per mm square. FE 550 550 Newton per mm square. FE 550 D 550 Newton per mm square. FE 600 600 Newton per mm square. Now let us see the different grades of TMT bars are available. As per Indian standard 1786 2008. Minimum yield stress and tensile strength for different grades of TMT rubber are mentioned below. You can view the property available here and grades. So yield stress that is 0.2 percent of proof stress in terms of Newton per mm. So the grades of steels are listed as FA 415, 415D, 500, 500D, 550, 550D and 600. And in terms of second important thing that is tensile strength minimum. So here you can view 10% more than 0.2% of PS but not less than 485 Newton per mm square. So similarly you can view 12% here in terms of FE 415D. So you can view there is a variation of 2% when compared to 15 and 15D. Similarly when it comes to the 500 it is 8% more than 0 0.2 
and coming to the 500D it is 10% more so you can use slight variation in terms of percentage then similarly in terms of 550 6% 550D 8% and FA 600 also you can do 6% of more than 0.2 PS but not less than 660 Newton per mm square so now let us see about what are the properties of steel available if we look at the chemical analysis and elongation test as per the IS 1786 2008 then we can see that the fe 500 or 500d is the most ductile among all other tft rubber grades why we have preferred today only fe 500 and 500d because this is the reason it is having more ductility among all the tft bars like 415 550 6 600 etc etc now standard minimum elongation percentage on gauge length for different grade of TMT rebars are mentioned below as per IS 1786 by 2008. You can view the chart here elongation percentage is available for the FE 415 it is 14.5% for the FE 415D it is 18% for the FE 500 it is 12% FE 500D it is 16% for the FE 550 it is 10% for the FE 550D it is 14.5% for FE 600 it is 10% now let us see about the composition percentage in FE D 500D and FE 500 also chemical properties for FE 500 or FE 500D TMT rebel grades are lesser than the other TMT rebel grades then makes FE 500 or 500D TMT rebels higher corrosion resistance Standard minimum elongation percentage on gauge length for different grade of TMT rebars are mentioned below as per IS 1786-2008. You can view the chart is available all the elements present here. These are the composition present in the steel, carbon, phosphorus and sulfur, phosphorus plus sulfur and CE and nitrogen so you can view these are the percentage are available here for fe 500 it is 0 0.30 0 0.55 0 0.105 0 0.42 0 120 similarly for fe 500 it is 0 0.25 0 0.40 0 0.075 0 0.42 and 120 now let us see another that is what is the main difference in bending properties the bend tends consist of a bending is a test sample of tmt rebar through plastic deformation by applying a load against a suitable mantle until a specified angle that is 180 degree of bend is reached. Depending on the requirements of the material standards such as IS 1786-2008, it should be parallel at a specified distance and insert is used to control this distance. Test is usually carried out at room temperature and the bending agreement with two supports S1 and S2 and a mantle has been shown below. So the bend test and the maximum mantle diameter is about up to 20 and over 20 for the fe 500 it is 4 dia and it is for over 20 it is 5 dia for the fe 500 it is 3 dia and over 20 is about 4 dia now let us see why fe 500 is better than fe 500 so this is the important point fe 500 high ductility is the main feature for which it is most used in all construction purposes that is brittle opposite to ductility property material cannot change higher energy whereas fe 500 d is for high ductility can absorb sudden loads during natural disasters such as earthquakes floods etc so naturally there may be so many disasters may occur at that moment we can able to find the fe 500 d will play a vital role now let us see FE500D is the most preferred TMT rebar in high seismic zones. So basically seismic zones are having apart from the in our country four zones are available. So we will be discussing in another video we will make on seismic zones only. So now let, now let us move towards another point of uh, 500D. After melting the sponge iron and molten metal in blast furnace in 500D TMT rebar, it is standard procedure to D. Phosphorize the steel in the ladle by following the metallurgical process. So minimization of using the scrap brings control over the trap elements like copper, vanadium, nickel, chromium, etc. 
So now let us see why Fe500 is again another few more points. So the tensile strength of Fe500 is 545 megapixel. But when it comes to the 500D, you can see the variation. It is about 565 megapixel. Almost 20 megapixel is a difference is available. Now coming to the elongation part, you can view there is a 12%. And when it comes to the 500D, you can view 18%. This also indicates because steel is a very important property in terms of elongation. So the better elongation, it is nothing but 500D. It is giving a more than compared to Fe500. Now see the carbon composition also available it is about 0.30 percent but when it comes to the fe 500 it is 0.25 percent so if these properties are much more better than the fe 500 so that's why we prefer fe 500 d with lower quantities of carbon sulfur and phosphorus helps in preserving the steel and resisting earthquake shocks in future so friends, let us come to the conclusion. As per IS-1786 yield stress, also known as 0.0% of uh, proof stress of Fe, 500 is 500 Newton per mm square. So Fe 500 d steel means the reinforced steel rods or bars that can safely withstand a yield stress of 500 Newton per mm square, which is stronger than other bars like 450 Newton per mm square by 20% and also Fe 500. Fe 500 and Fe 500D TMT both are good for different types of construction purposes but Fe 500D is more ductile over Fe 500. The enzyme strength for both grades are same but Fe 500D is more ductile. When it comes to the most reinforced steel will require bending before being used in a concrete structure because they are relatively high strength steels and the ribs on the bar surface act as stress concentrates. Reinforcing steels may fracture on bending if the radius of bend is too tight. Let us see the a view on the things are available that is what is the steel of Fe 500 or 500 D which one is having more percentage that is Fe 500 D is having some advantages like Consistent quality along with the uniform grades, superior stability, properties for higher durability and easy workability. So this is the conclusion of our. So friends, if you like the video a lot, kindly like, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Thanks for watching.